What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fix It Garage. It's time to get down and dirty. We are starting on the Volkswagen. So, Bugaroo is a name that's been given to a lot of these things when people do the swap. We are going to call this the Subaru Beetle. The Subaru Beetle because this is a Super Beetle, which luckily isn't gonna piss off a lot of hardcore air-cooled guys because they don't like the Super Beetle. So this actually worked out in my favor. So we're gonna call this thing the Subaru Beetle and maybe I'll make a shirt or something for it too. Stay tuned. But yeah, we're gonna start off on this thing today. I've already got it up on jacks in the rear and I've actually got the oil drained out of it. Figured you guys have seen me drain oil a million times. I'll just go ahead and get the oil out. By the way, it looked really gross. So we got the oil out. So now we're gonna start trying to figure out what all we need to take apart to get the engine out. I think I have it up high enough that I'll be able to drop the engine out and slide it, but we'll see. I am gonna pull the frunk off. We're gonna take, that's really noisy. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna pull the rear bumper for some other things. We might even pull the fenders off while we have it in here because I think we're gonna remove this apron to make it easier to put the other motor in because the other motor is a little bit bigger. But maybe we won't have to. We'll find out really soon, guys. So let's get started on tearing this thing apart. We're gonna go ahead and pull the bumper and the trunk off. That way I don't hit my head on the bumper or the trunk lid. It makes it a little bit easier to work and it gets more light in there so you guys can also see what we're doing. And we're gonna try to do a little bit of creative camera filming with this one. So stay tuned, guys. Let's jump right into the time lapse.
guys, it's out. Here it is. Really wasn't that hard to pull this engine. It's actually quite simple. And it helps and makes it a little easier that there's a hole back there with rust that shouldn't be there, which I'll show you guys a little later once the car's cleaned out. Um, yeah, here you go. Here's your Volkswagen air-cooled engine. That's about all I know about it. It's got a carburetor and an alternator and a place to put oil in. That's pretty much all that I know about these. Not really well knowledge or versed in air-cooled engines, but here it is, guys. Uh, let's just say this is the easy part. Getting the engine out was very easy. Now it's figuring out the disgusting wiring that's in the car and adding a crap ton of wiring to this car so that engine will start. Yeah, this is gonna be quite challenging the more I look at it, but I am really excited to take this challenge on. This is gonna be a huge learning experience for me that I think will make me a better mechanic overall. I'll have some skills that I didn't have that I can use in the future when I build some more EFI race cars. Because trust me, this is just the beginning of my building career. This is the first car. After this, I plan on just getting more and more extreme. So I figured we'd start off with something simple. We'll go with that simple. But yeah, that's, uh, there you have it guys, the engine's out. Now we get to start the process of cleaning up and getting ready to put it all in. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. We got the engine out. Next time, we're gonna start figuring out how to put that engine in the car. I still don't have the adapter plate, but we can go ahead and we can start trying to figure out some stuff. Wiring, fuel, cooling, all those great things that we're gonna have to figure out to do this project. But we're gonna go ahead and next time we're gonna start trying to figure out probably some of the wiring that's already in the car and trying to clean it up. There's a rat's nest under the, the front hood and uh, back here. We're gonna try to clean up the wiring that's in the car and get rid of all the stuff that we're not gonna need anymore and then start plumbing and plumbing, I don't know I said plumbing, installing the new wiring. As always, if you guys like what you saw, remember to smash that like button, leave comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss anything with this car. There's a lot coming very soon. Once again, thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.